Hi, and welcome to question seven of the 2022 Junior Cert Higher Level Maths. If you want to copy the notes I'm working off, just send me an email at shanetroy at gmail.com and like and subscribe to get access to more playlists. So question seven is um, about powers. Okay, so let's get stuck in. Now, one and two, parts one and two here are marked together and worth 10 marks. Amy and Joe are asked to pick values for the numbers P, Q, and R so that the following is true for all um, base numbers to, um, that are elements of the real number system. So basically any number, okay? Um, so they tell us here that a to the power of p times a to the power of q times a to the power of r is equal to a to the power of 12. Okay, now we know that when you multiply, let's just use an example, Let's say 2 squared times 2 to the power of 3. When you have the same base number, you can add the powers. Okay, So that is the same thing as 2 to the power of 2 plus 3 is 5. Now, that's the same thing here. In a sense, Okay, if I do it down here, um, P plus Q plus R must equal 12. Because if you're multiplying the same base numbers, and they're the same base number the whole way across, you're going to add these little numbers. P plus Q plus R equals 12. And that's the trick. So it says here, Amy picked three values that were all the same. So P is equal to Q is equal to R. Write down the values of P plus P, Q, and R that Amy picked. Now, if these are all the same number, like we could represent them with the same variable. I'm just going to choose X for simplicity. So X plus X plus X is the same thing as 3X which equals 12. Now, if I want to get x, I can divide this by 3 to cancel them. Do it once, I've got to do it to both. I end up with x is equal to 12 divided by 3 is 4. So the values there um, would be 4, 4, and 4. Now, in part 2 here, it says, Joe picked three values that were all different. Okay, Write down possible values of p, q, and r. So there's many possible values, okay? As long as they add to 12, that statement is valid, okay? So I'm gonna pick, um, I think, what, two and four is six, and then 12 minus six is equal to six. So two plus four is six, plus six is 12. So whatever, it could, that could have been one and five and six. It could have been, it could be, well, they would have to be all different. So yeah, it could have been two and three and seven, okay? Really, any numbers, that as long as they add to 6, or sorry, 12, and are different, will achieve the master. So, kind of a challenging question, because you might underthink it, um, or rather, sorry, overthink it, and think it just must be harder than this, and try different strategies. Um, that's the answer there. So, part B here says, find the value of M, so that the following is true for all values of B, and it's just saying that all values of B are um, real numbers, okay? So this is just powers, and if you know the rules of powers and they're in the math tables, I can see there that the top one here, they're the same base number, so I can add the little numbers. So that's the same thing as b to the power of m plus negative 2. I'm going to keep everything else the same. Okay, I'm just going to focus on that. Now, that's the same thing as b to the power of m minus 2 over b is equal to b to the power of 10. Now then the second rule of power says, if I have two base numbers that are the same and I'm dividing them, I can take away the little numbers. So that's the same as b to the power of m minus 2, take away 1. Now I know there's a power of 1, even though we don't say it. There's a power of 1 there, so that's take it away from the top, that's, that's a subtraction, is equal to b to the power of 10. And I'm going to continue on up here. Um, if I add this, the power is here, so it's b to the power of, now m... Minus 2 minus 1 is minus 3. And that equates to b to the power of 10. Now, if we have two base numbers here that are equal, we can focus in on the powers. Okay. So m minus 3 okay, is equal to 10. Now, this is fairly simple. All I have to do now to finish off is I want to get rid of the 3. So I'm going to add 3 to the left. If I do it to one side, I have to do it to both. I'm left with they cancel. Uh, 10 plus 3 is 13. And that should be it. 
Um, right. Okay, I think that's the answer. Yeah, that's it. Okay. So just testing your ability to use powers. And they are in the maths tables. And just to point that out, I have the maths tables open somewhere. If I go to the contents and go to indices, or indices are powers, and logs, that's rule one. Okay. And we used rule two as well. Okay. And that's it. Now, um, that's the end of question seven, short and sweet. As always, if you want to copy the notes I'm working off, just send me an email at shanetroy at gmail.com and like and subscribe to get access to more playlists. See you on question eight.